with that adventure as here we are on Blackpool Beach testing out the Tasache and I'm with my mate Brian Day from Brain Tree Metal Tech Team. Getting signals, can't find anything. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> Some sort of uh, false medallion. Wish it were real. Uh -huh. Earring. I don't know if it's gold. Check it out later. It does. This is on. We are here to wreck the beach. See what it's like. See what the good spots are. We're hoping. We haven't seen any much yet because fresh blown sand, it's been very windy, so all that will be covered up, so we're looking at going further out here to turn out the sea was out there. Power of our ride lifeboat in the background. So here we are at the uh, INL uh, station. A machine motor that pulls the actual uh, boat, just there, look. There's the NRL boat, jet propelled. Wow, look at that. Oh, what a piece of kit. And there's the name, Barbara Allen. Ann, sorry. And there's the info. I think I'm just asking for a ride in it. We'll just have to take a little trip out on the sea. What a job they do. Free to save people's lives. They ought to have medals for these people that go out in these treacherous sea waters. Absolutely superb. But at least they've got some nice kit. It won't always like that, but they've got some nice, a nice boat and uh, equipment to get out there fast to save lives. Absolutely awesome. It looks like a cudgel when they were doing press scanning. Oh, coins, look at the coins. What are all the coins then? They're probably, is it 1920s? Brilliant. Fishing weight 20. <laughs> All of two peas. <laughs> Seven. Don't pay.
best you can to try and find all that precious stuff under the sand, we hope. All right. There's the tower again. There's the tower. John is behind me. He's gone right up the other end in the distance. You can see the tide has gone right the way out. Lovely, lovely scene there. There's the pier. 50 pence. Okay, well, the detecting trip has come to an end now. Uh, I've enjoyed every minute, couple of days here. I've been about 12 hours detecting, trying out the Tesache. Uh, nice bit of kit, nice nice metal detector. Very, very positive on the beach. And uh, we did we did find, uh, well, I did find a, a few bits, uh, and so did Brian, but I've had a great time with my friend, Brian, and his wife, Janet, which is, she's just a marvelous woman. And uh, I'm hoping we may link up at another time uh, to Blackpool again. And I'm sure, I'm sure about going down to Braintree and meet up on one of his group digs. Well, every good party comes to an end, and I'm sorry to say that ours has. We've had a day or two metal detecting on the beach here at Blackpool. It is riddled with coin. Coin, 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 all modern stuff. Uh, we didn't find anything old at all, but the sea has been very rough churning everything up and uh, we managed to do a little bit. I only found a small amount, two or three days, food coins, 50p's, tuppences, 20's, things like this, even a, a collet of some sort, a 5p, uh, a euro, uh, you know, that sort of thing. But John did well, if you have a look here what John's got with his machine, and his is fully waterproof. Um, and it turns around and it, uh, it really does the job a treat. But um, what I'm going to say now is that uh, even though it's finished, I'm inviting John, uh, now I made a new friend, back to Braintree when we have a big dig in the summertime. I mean, we can turn around and sort him something out so that he can get a dig and find some hammers and all the rest of it like the rest of our guys do. Look at that. If you found that in the middle of the field, you just thought you found something medieval. But I'm afraid it's just a uh, reproduction of some sort pirate of uh, coin. pirate pirate coin is it yeah cob coin yeah that's all that is it's a shame isn't it and then we've got these plated uh, uh, uh yeah i don't know what that is whether it's an earring or whatever it is and then that's that's an earring and then we've got some old old buttons old buttons and then we've got this here uh, I, don't, I don't even know what that is part of the key ring i think yeah and then you got your pound coins and 20 pences and 5p's and then... And look at all the two pences. So I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you liked the video, please subscribe, press the notification button and pass on. Catch you on the next one.